Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, I had to wait till my uh, thing popped up down here. But today, I want to start looking at just like weird things on YouTube, like weird channels that have like way too many videos on like weird subjects and whatnot. So, this is Mud Fossils, or now it's called Mud Fossil University. And it's just insane. I don't even know, like, where to begin. There's, like, 2,000 videos, and the guy has, like, 168,000 subscribers. And he's just talking about such crazy stuff. And, like, at first, you know, I thought he was, like, a flat Earth type guy. But, no, he's he's talking about, like, the planets. And he's showing, like, a little globe and stuff. So he's definitely not that. That's not, like, what his deal is. All right, you can see a planet obviously spins on its axis and it goes through the atmosphere. Now, where did Mars... Impact, What's up, Bong man? This way. Oh yeah, did thank you. Going with the spin. All right, it created. A, it appears to be. What's up, Mr. Metal Skull? Discharge. And then, or more or less of an impact. So coming <laughs> up to it, it's gonna go. But, yeah. Uh, so he he's not like a flat Earth guy, obviously, because he's talking about spinning Earths and like planets and stuff. But he thinks the Earth is like a giant dead organism. It's almost like cosmic horror-ish a little bit. What's up, Frostmeth? I know, right? It's so he's got so many. <laughs> like half of them like listen to him like, wow, people don't teach the real history. But you can tell that he gets like really drunk sometimes. He's just like really slurry. <laughs> and like obviously drunk. And some of his stuff is just, it's outlandish like this. Hello, my good friends. Uh, Roger again. It conflicted as I was uh, a year or so ago when I posted about this. This is Wa Anam. <laughs> and uh, it is, I believe, a biological entity growing in the desert. So, I... See, like, a biological entity growing in the desert? It's got, like, a little cosmic horror to it, like, mystery flesh pit type stuff a little bit, you know? I'll present the evidence, you make the decision. Okay, it's Roger once again, Mud Fossil University. Today we are going to review some work I did a while back uh, with Val on the um, embryo in the desert. And there's been some startling changes, I think. Now, Google Earth has changed, yes, but I don't think it's changed this much. So, we're going to go through this, and I'm going to start by showing the original work that I did here very briefly, and I'm going to go in, bip, 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 in here and there. Unusual event, and it is it's changing as we watch. So, here we go. This is what the original video was, and this is only a couple of years ago. But I do have, I believe, a couple of years' worth of uh, changes already shown in this video, which were dramatic. And now it is more dramatic er. All right, so here goes. Okay, it's Roger once again from Bud Fossil. Oh, yeah, poopy butt. Today as conflicted as I have ever been. I watched that video. Are you talking about the one that, um, God, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but it's got like King in it or whatnot did. I watched that video earlier with the, where she was like saying like how he just immediately started like messenger and stuff. Oh my God. And in my life. This is, I believe, incontrovertible evidence that the Earth is somehow biologically creating a life. If you can see this right here, I'm saying that's a sperm, and that's the head of the sperm, and these little indentations are the DNA. And the reason I'm saying that is because of this. You see what you see here? There they are. They're all coming this way. You see it? Coming down, coming down. 
What's up, Gilgamark? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, that's who it is, poopy butt. Shot of ejaculation. <laughs> and ahead of it is the lubricant that heads ahead of it. And I'm saying that because. <laughs> what? Second shot of first. ejaculation. I just hang on a second. I can't even get. <laughs> He's being so earnest and serious with this, too. And I'm saying that. And ahead of it is the lubricant. <laughs> the head of a jack is the second shot of ejaculation. And ahead of it is the lubricant that heads ahead of it. <laughs> and I'm saying that because down here was the first shot of a jack. Oh, yeah, dude. He said her that and everything. What's up, Sid Shine? <laughs> impregnating. This, uh, yeah, of course, within the first 10 minutes. If it's any any sort of woman, that's what he would do. And I have done extensive research on it. <laughs> okay, when I say I've done extensive research on it, I've looked at it for a, a long time and and tried to examine <laughs> what I could see from afar. Oh, yeah, Gilgobart. Absolutely not. <laughs> However, um, I can see what I see. You can see what I see. And... Uh, there's a giant yeah, embryo out in the desert being made by like weird this sperm. Thing is headed toward you, and that thing is the attachment on the uterine wall. Now I know it's on the face of the earth. I don't have an explanation for that, other than it is here and it does conform to everything that has to do with biology. What's up, Carrie? We're watching um, this guy who thinks that the Earth is a giant living thing or a dead giant fossil living thing at the same time. And they're giant vaginas. Hang on. Let's just go to this one since there's enough people here now. Like, this is... After I watched this video that he, like, kind of recently did, I was like, oh, my God. And I'm going to have to, like, hang on a second. I got to, like, make sure. Right. There were giants in... Right, here okay, we go. my friends, this is the statement in the Bible. There were giants in the earth in those days. This is like from three days ago. After that, they had more giants when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were hell yeah, no diggity men of renown. Well, guess what? There was women too. Now, if you have any essentially parts that are a little bit sexually oriented, I would remove them because that's about what you're going to see. And <laughs> so, as I said, there were giants in the earth. Some were male, and some were Gentiles, and some were pagans. They had pagans too. <laughs> some were circumcised, and some weren't. I mean, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Only one way to do this is that's in great detail. You see those? Those are the straps that I was just showing you before in that anatomical picture. You I don't that? know. What do you think? That he is? always oh, uses a turkey. This is intercourse. <laughs> he always uses a turkey feather. That's like his signature. Just all of it. All of it is so good. Like it's so subtle, but then it gets so weird. It's so out there. And this rock cave is giants doing it. They got frozen. By Gorgon technology. He thinks it was Gorgon technology that did it. <laughs> I know, right? Gentile giants, come on. Like, sit you this part here in a second. Okay, oh, yeah, there you go. There, go. there you go. Oh, my you God. Whoops. Two straps that come up <laughs> Dude's just like the showing all sorts of anatomical muscle. stuff. <laughs> and those were the straps that come up around the side. And you saw that <laughs> there was penetration, and you saw above. The vagina, which is the urethra. Now look all right. carefully. Look okay, all right. That one was a little too graphic. <laughs> too up form. close. <laughs> I gotta like, be honest, I find this hilarious. First of all, the guy made a house out of a penis. <laughs> and then you see brand new wind turbines right next to a penis. What's up, Ronnie? Did I misspell it in a, in a thingy? <laughs> all right, this I believe is called the Tracian <laughs> Womb Cave. And it is a womb. And this is what's called a what's up cave. burger first of all look at this little tiny strip down the center that's the seam that fuses the the um the blastula together it forms a ball and then it inverts and seams that is that seam this right here is the face of a baby you see these little 
scraps I'm going to come in close in a second. But look at it's being blown out the side because it was drowned in the flood and that's what's called a coffin birth when they actually give birth inside the coffin. So I'm convinced the these are giant face. vaginas. You see the face? And it's poking through oh. the tissue. You see these little bits of tissue? Oh shit. It's breaking. I, I keep like forgetting that if I got to go back up here to like make it pause and As stuff. As I said, there shit. were giant blood. This is the blood I clicked too far. comes out when a baby's and it's poking through the tissue. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I thought I might have did, Ronnie. <laughs> right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Carrie. It's like when they say, like, people, like, oh, no, you didn't really see a UFO. You just saw, like, some kind of weird phallic thing because of your psychology. <laughs> you see these little bits of tissue? It's you just keep seeing. He's just like, it's a penis. Out. It's a giant penis. It's just a she giant vagina. She drowned and died. Now, the other side... There's nothing like that. You see, it's nice and smooth. It's a normal vagina. <laughs> it's nice and smooth. It's a normal a coffin break. vagina. And the rest is pretty obvious. <laughs> That's one you might want to avoid. I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> what is it? What the fuck? Saying, Come on, kid. What? What? Yeah. That's one you might want to avoid. <laughs> I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Come on, kid. It's time to get born. That's that scene that I was Oh my god. About. They all have that same scene. <laughs> this is the first fully clothed <laughs> breech birth ever. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run down the line. I must have twenty vagina pictures here. Vagina pictures here. Seems like almost every woman had one. Look at that. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You seen this? this yeah. Oh no, go That's away. Yeah, go away. At least it's not as, as graphic as the other one was. This shows how the babies come out and <laughs> how the cervix opens up. And this, I believe, is what's happening on Jupiter right now. Oh, Jupiter right now! So the big red spot on Jupiter is going to birth a big monster baby or some shit. It's literally what he's saying. He's saying that's what's happening on Jupiter right now. And he thinks like there's weird embryos like growing in the Earth and stuff. So he thinks that the red spot on Jupiter is like birthing something or whatnot. <laughs> oh my god, I know. That's what I was thinking, no diggity. I thought he was a troll too, but I have no fucking clue. If he is, he is doing such a good job because he's got like 2,000 videos and he's really <laughs> convincing. <laughs> blood comes off they thought that the the uh this is where the blood this is the blood plug that comes out when a baby's born that was dying oh hell yeah doc holiday flood there's another cavity yeah exactly i remember a different youtube channel like a different one before this one where he was talking about stuff they, they all have that little crease up in the top which is the seam that seems to blast you look at this this is a vagina. This is the seam right here of that vagina. And this is, these are the vaginal ripples all the way up. This is a giant Sondong cave. It's the biggest <laughs> vagina I know. <laughs> cave. It's the biggest vagina I know. <laughs> they're all over the place. I mean, they're everywhere. I, you just got to open your mind and realize what you're looking at. Now, look at that. This is interesting. Does he? Uh... Doc Holiday, I had no clue that he even had, like, a subreddit or anything. <laughs> oh, my God. That reminds me of that one certain internet, like, thing that you're never, ever supposed to Google. <laughs> but that's crazy. I'll like, have to look into that, like, read read the stuff. Is it like him talking about stuff and people like following him, or is it just people like talk? You know, yeah, really geological lust. Or, or resemble other things. Absolutely. That's all but it is. Man, I don't know. The other ones, I'm pretty damn sure. If you can, if you can fight me on the ones <laughs> I've been showing you, I'd like to have somebody figure out what they are. I'd like I'd like to have this someone figure out what they name. are. You see this split right up the second center here and the um, cervix back here 
and the walls of the vagina ripples here. And that is a, a coffin birth, I think. And this right out here, see? I think I showed something before. That one there. <laughs> Why does he keep laughing at the one that's like yeah, got grass yeah. all over it? And I think they call that the birth cave. <laughs> These things are not unknown, but nobody will listen. And then you get attacked like it's just unbelievable. These are the vagina ripples. Oh, okay. I show them all. All right. Time. Well, thanks for the information, Doc. And then the tubes and the purse. And I know the, that if this like goes really further fun. than this, it goes like way further because there's a shit ton of like. Once you start looking at the mud fossils, then there's a bunch of, like, people who are, like, mud flood. And then you've got people who are, like, mud flood, Tartaria mud flood. And maybe it's the second millennium. And Jesus has already come back. There's this group of crazy people, the real, real crazy ones, who think that uh, Jesus already came back and set up the millennium kingdom and then... Uh, the devil was loose back on the earth for that little season, like just some like one off verse in Revelation. And that's why, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to even like comprehend unless you start really getting way deep into the rabbit hole. But yeah, there's some people who think that like all this stuff just leads to showing that like, yeah, no, Jesus is already resurrected and we're already past the tribulation. I don't, I don't even know how to like start with it. What's up, Quebinator? <laughs> oh yeah dog holiday <laughs> it's so funny there's just like so much like so many like videos and like rabbit holes of people who are like kind of like go off of this guy's stuff and just like keep going with it i think these are the vagina ripples in this one too <laughs> right <laughs> where's the millennium items right <laughs> and it's that's probably the urethra they still have tubing on them they still have the damn tubing in them. Do you understand? <laughs> now this, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Tobacco leaves. <laughs> this is some kind of an organ membrane something, some silly or something like that. <laughs> Desert mysteries. <laughs> What? It's like, no that was a stretch. That one was a stretch. It was just was like kind of two rocks that kind of could be a butt. And he was just like, ha 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 ha, a butt. <laughs> Ripples. Desert mysteries. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, Caustic? That's so funny. Alright, these are the superficial squamous cells. <laughs> But yeah, Rax's new watch, I was watching that earlier, that's why like I started later, just because I wanted to see like how bad he was going to get about his new watch. His brand new Apple watch. I, I Maybe, maybe no diggity. He could be. I like the like cosmic horror aspect of it though, like I was saying, it's almost like mystery flesh pit, like look, there's a giant organism out there. That's just kind of fun to think about in, like, you know, sci-fi aspects. The vagina tissue. <laughs> the vagina tissue. I like to get kind of, you know, fully understand what I'm looking at. Well, this is, Tyson has, I think this is a vagina right here. <laughs> that's, that's up in Tyson's area. That's what it is. Tyson's got some amazing stuff up there. That's, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Ripples. I'm still laughing about that. It's so weird. Oh, here's a vagina ripples. I talk about this all the time. Oh, dude, I and tried to call him, too. Right at the very end. And, of course, there's the four next. Uh, yeah. I tried to call him, too. <laughs> oh, this is, this is my sweet kitty cat caliber. Oh. Uh, Cervix, really. <laughs> I always go, hmm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, here's a vagina with the butt. Somebody sent me this the other day. There <laughs> is the vagina, and there is just below the vagina. 
And you make your own determination. Vegas, now I'm at the vagus nerve and all that stuff. You want to see the vagus nerve? Vagus nerve. Oh. You see what's going on in your body? I mean, I, I can't hold myself now. I'm so deep into this stuff now. It's just, it's absolutely phenomenal the way your body works. Every one of these produces chemistry yeah. that's just Exactly, stunning. Ronnie. He doesn't ever, like, answer anybody. What a protein is and an enzyme. Look it up and you will flip. <laughs> and the only reason those and enzymes are there is because of bacteria. Whole nother issue. I'm going to leave it alone. Merry Christmas. I wonder how long before. until, like, the watch gets, understand? like, until he, like, gets tired of it and stops playing with it. I'm trying to just make the world aware of what reality is. I don't care about anything. A lot of heat for a lot of years. It's time for you peoples to just stop and think. I love you all. <laughs> all right. So yeah, that one that one was pretty pretty wild. Uh oh, I probably pressed like too far back. Alright, let's try to like look look at this because like I'm saying, like I don't really think he's he's a troll. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's so gross, Google Mark, but that's- Oh my god. My stuff disconnected. Did it reconnect fine? Did it- did it reconnect? I'm having some, like, issues. But yeah, probably. Oh, drop in. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, expert. Yeah, it's I don't know, it's dropping here a little bit. Thank you, Frost Smith. Long, and these appear to be his ribs, and this would be uh, apparently the liver. Well, if I can drop back down to zero again. I think that the damn internet like throttles me because it's always like towards the later later bit of the month. That's when it starts like dropping in quality and it wants to like disconnect and stuff. I feel like it's the damn internet like providers doing some bullshit. Uh, and and it's um these videos are are. Hell yeah, very very expert. Wrong <laughs> by Brian Forrest. But, but particularly this guy who wants to think everything's big penises and vaginas. And he is going out doing the kind of work that should be done. He's going out looking. He's just, it's a strange weathering pattern. Yeah, that's very What's strange. up, Seven Graham? And who is... And I'll show you. You know, here he is going down. He's walking. He, let's take a look down his... Now, that's vain... Hang on. This bullshit keeps dropping. And that is very unusual. I'm going to play this. And you'll see. Look at down here and you're saying, oh, it's melting. Well, it looks like it's melting. See it? It looks like it's melting. But that black blood is vein blood. Now, look at the size of this thing. This is no puppy. That is, that's, look, you see it? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Doc Holiday. This stuff that was inside his body. So, and I'm saying, well, how did this get on here? Well, that crust is what is granite. Granite is not a natural stone. Granite is crushed. All right, I don't think this is the one that I saw. I think maybe, maybe this one, four years ago? Or no, I think it was that other one, or Giants Reemerging. So five years ago, I think this one, he's still saying like things are vaginas in this one too. This video today um, was made possible by one of our researchers. Uh, <laughs> oh man, Gilgamar, that's exactly what it's going on. He sent me this tip to take a look at this. 
And sure enough, he was, he found something quite spectacular in my estimation. See what you think. All right, here's how we all start out in life. A zygote, you're just a, the sperm and egg. <laughs> and it starts to develop. And that he's using a pointer. He's, four years ago, right. he's using a pointer instead of the feather. He like lost his pointer, obviously, and then started using that feather. All right, this is obviously a vagina, and it is in the ground. That's him. Very, very expert. Ground, and I, I think this is the guy because he's talking about dragons. There's this one part. Do I prove to you that? that oh, here we go. Yeah, NASA discovers a dragon on Mars. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it might be him, if the one you're thinking about. What's up, low cow wrangler? This is a Tracian cave. Hell yeah, Wibbing. Oh, they carved it. They carved that. This is absolutely 100% organic, and it was alive and a creature. And I'm going to show you another one because I. By the time we get to the end of what I have to show you, I blah blah That's all I can say. You see that? That's a vagina. And that's one of the deep, I think it is the deepest cave in the earth. And it goes straight down, and this is that vegetal scene. You see, it's like a matty sort of material. All right, the first one we watched was from three days ago, and this one's from four years ago. So he's literally just been making the same video for like four years. He's saying the same things in this video that he was saying in that video from three days ago. He's been making the same video for four years, so I, I don't think he's a troll. I don't think any kind of troll could ever keep that up that long. That's where this part of the vagina and What's the up, Chodes? seem together. What's up, Yargum Bargum? The abdominal cavity. You see these stripes here, all across here. I know exactly, Doc. Those are. Um... And it's weird. Lots of them are like flat Earth people. Like, yeah, the dome and uh, the Bible. And mud giants and Nephilim. But then he he isn't like that because he's saying like there's like giants and Jupiter's a god and stuff sometimes. It's weird, like his followers seem to be very more like heavily Christian than like what he ever says is It's a vegetal tissue. And those are the vegetal folds. Now I'm gonna show you you saw the other stuff, how this stuff stone redefined. And that's the fusing spot. And that would split open if, if, if you know, it's shown the small ones, you know, they split open. And I mean, this goes thousands and thousands and thousands of feet. And so all I can say is we're dealing with things that we just never, ever, 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 ever considered. So open your mind. Don't go crazy here. Hold on a second. <laughs> all right, that's your value. Hell yeah, Roddy. Folds. That is what we're seeing, those stripes that are all around that cave. Oh. Sorry, that's just what it is. And what will happen is they'll get different color variations as you go up because of the way they, uh, the, the, the blood and so forth settles. Okay, does this look familiar? <laughs> You've been here before. We all have. Oh. This is the birth process. Yeah. All right, you so yeah, four years ago, he's doing the exact same thing that he did suck. three days ago. Organ and tissue, uh, I mean, every every fiber, every tendon, every muscle every cell is t touches this web of fascia it's called the myofascia system and it was always thought it was nothing but it is extremely important and i believe it is the communication system throughout the body that sends the signal right yeah let's look at him say how the crystal skull is a real preserved fossil this one like fascinated me too Okay, my outstanding friends, this started off to be a discussion about the vagus nerve and so forth, but I decided I'd throw this in as well. Gil Headley. The vagus nerve. There he goes. He's talking about the vagus nerve yet again. He's only got like a couple of things that he wants to talk about over and over and over. A fabulous anatomist just did. A it's video his stylist. As I was watching, and I decided, well, I'll throw in. <laughs> Does this look this, familiar? Oh my God, stuff. that's so funny. This is absolutely 100% was a real living creature. You see, the lip is twisted back and the nose is pushed back. This head was on its face. Even the part of the brain here has shifted forward. I like his um, little like, ah, uh, shit. Label, label maker, mud fossil university sticker that he has on his moniker. 
Now, look at this. You see this? These are... Hell yeah, Justice replied, Billy. What's up, Bite Path to Enlightenment? Right? They are coated with a specific type of membrane. It keeps them from shorting out, basically. When everything transitioned into... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's why he had to use the turkey feather. Those didn't transition the way all the rest of the soft... Hell yeah, Yarga Bargum. You see this? Look at this. Just watch this. See this? Come over. You see the bun? Absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, probably. The probably jaw is articulated. It comes right off, just like your jaw would. <laughs> it, 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 and this is what it was found. And every- <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> just like your jaw would. <laughs> it, 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 and this is what it was found. And every- oh, 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 just like your jaw would. Thing. Who's gonna carve the lip and the nose all swish back like that? There's no way they could put those fibers inside the guy's cavity, brain cavity. That is a brain. That is a brain. That is a skull. Everything here did what's called nucleophilic substitution. Whoa, whatever that no, is. Nucleophil- nuclear Phillip substitution. <laughs> oh. I know, right? <laughs> Your neurosurgeon is describing a phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, they're studying the effects of racism on the skeleton. <laughs> exactly, the whooshy noise is more sciencey. Precisely what the conditions are, but I hold on one second. Like I said, I don't know <laughs> specifically what the conditions were, but this is a tendon. You see that strip right across? Oh wow, there? that's an abrupt transition right across there. Are you gonna connect again? I'm sorry, this shit's messing up. It's definitely gotta be. It's definitely gotta be like throttling me at the end of the month or something. Because it was going fine. Everything up until now was going fine. And so you know, I'm pretty sure they're like fucking throttling me. What's up, Insomni Retro TV? Oh my god, you know a neurosurgeon that's crazier than this guy? I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure that you do. You gotta be crazy. Okay, you gotta be crazy going through medical school because you just get desensitized to dead people. You're just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch and like, mm, okay, yeah, we're, are we flaying a face today? Oh, we're flaying a face off? Okay, I'm gonna eat my lunch. You get desensitized to that shit. Isn't that something? Anyway, this, this, um, the conditions that they become resident in for long oh, yeah. periods of time. I'll blame it on him. He's, He's laid on the TV all right now. They, they take on the chemistry that's available. And this turned cl- clear, as did that. Uh, as does quartz. All right, let's see. Let's see him talk about like crazy okay, things. Friend, I'll tell you where this is in a, in a minute. But what I want you to look at is these ridges and then these little flippy things going in between all over. And, and this runs quite a long distance. And it has <laughs> the same characteristics. You see it like Oh, my thing? God. I don't think anybody chopped those in there. <laughs> And they run all the way along, 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 all the way down. Now, what? Oh my God, women! What would make? Like I said once, like, like I said once before, the only time I ever got really, really grossed out was watching Faces of Death when I was eating some like chicken. I was eating some like chicken strips, and I was like, "Oh, my friend gave me like a bootleg copy of Faces of Death," and I was just expecting it to be like you know, fake shock gore for the most part because that's how most of it is but that first scene they show some real autopsy footage and they pull that dude's face off and that grossed me out something fierce because i was eating that chicken i was just like uh, ooh. something look like that it ripples ridges well, strangely <laughs> enough, what's up stylus ninja i'm gonna make the claim that it could very well be feathers I have no clue what he's talking about. It's feathers. Okay. He's saying that those ridges are feathers. That's what he's saying. He stuck his feather. He stuck his turkey feather in the microscope. I mean, this thing is enormous. Well, yes, they could. Now, here we have something more extremely strange patterning. 
you see this, and then you see these little, whatever they are, coming out of this, whatever that is. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it, but there's some serious pattern here. Now, what we were just looking at is down in this area, but the whole area up in here, <laughs> up there in the originally, but this is the Gate of the Gods. Oh, yeah. Insomnia TV. The original one's decent. The original one's decent because it's it's like peak Mondo, like filmmaking, just like super trashy. Like let's fake half of it. Let's just like steal footage from the news for the other half. It's super Mondo, and I love me some like good Mondo movies. If you've ever seen like Brutal Africa or like Shocking Asia or Weird America or any of those old mondo style documentary movies i love that shit we're down in peru i believe is where we are now let's oh yeah the monkey brains but that one's always super fake though it's just like cauliflower and jello and it looks just like a piece of cauliflower and jello examine this a little closer remember we were over in this area here it's all very very pattern i mean Oh man, I remember that <laughs> Insomnia Retro TV. I downloaded that shit off the live wire when I was like 14. I was like, whoa, so it gets shot. All right, do we do we come back? Is it okay? I'm sorry, like every every time anything happens, it just gets disconnected now. All right, let me, let me try. And I will show you the feathers that we see in the United States in Quetzalcoatl. But you see how fine all of these little... And Quetzalcoatl. ...are here? Extremely fine. He's saying that that's there's really a giant feathers. Quetzalcoatl. You won't believe how fine Thank you. feathers are. You look at a feather and you think, oh... And it'll probably go away again. I don't know what's going on with this shit. <laughs> but it'll probably only just, like, fuck up this week, I'm assuming. And then, like, once it goes into January... The internet should be good again. I don't know. They're just little. Well, let me show you how fine it is. All right. Well, we're gonna thing there. I mean, I think it may even be smaller than that. But that's what each one of those little. Stripes Hell yeah! No. Freaking like the internet. Those little stripes. They don't want us to learn. They're they're cutting us off because they don't want us to learn that everything's big feathers and vaginas. That there's giant cave vaginas everywhere. There's these little furry things sticking off the side. That it's they, the, they, uh, we're learning the truth about the cave vaginas. They sort of Velcro together. That's what puts them back together again. You see how tiny that is? But, but when they come back together, they stick together because of those little Velcro things. See them sticking together? And boom, they're open up. And then they can come back. That's what these little latches are. <laughs> and there's a million of them, bazillions of them. And they do a pretty good job. See that? Look at that. But it'll come open. So this is in the microscope of, of, of another turkey feather. You see <laughs> exactly. That's the color of a turkey feather. They're just you feathers and holes. And it's the same color, basically, on both sides. One's a little shinier than the other. And I have a turkey feather right here. This is one side. <laughs> and that's the other side. It's a turkey feather, and this is right in between here. <laughs> that old thing is right in between there. Let me show you where that came from. Oh, all right, look at this. This is like the comment. I was just reading some of these comments, and someone said the dragon in the east doesn't have legs. He was also called Amaraku, the flag serpent. <laughs> They thought it meant Feathered Serpent, but he's both. America got its name from him. So America's a giant dragon too, apparently, to some people. Are dragons just continents? <laughs> oh my god. I want to find the stuff where he was like pointing at like Africa and saying it was a dragon. <laughs> to be a discussion of right? the vagus nerve and so
Is it is it working? I don't know. Oh well. Thank you everybody who watched this. If it cuts off again, I'm just gonna like leave it at that. And we'll have to like try to watch other stuff at other points in time. I'll like try to like stream tomorrow. And I don't know. I'm assuming that it is just the stupid internet wanting to throttle me because it's the end of the month. I've never seen Traces of Death, Gilgamark. I, that's the Russian one. I've I've never gotten like a copy of it. Hey, thank you, thank you, Betty White Spooky Estate. That's what's up. <laughs>